So I saw this story this morning about Charlie Sheen and there's a virus, HIV, and Charlie Sheen has had in Hollywood a very, let's say, promiscuous lifestyle. And you were in the NBA for 15 years, and it is, and I've been in those NBA tunnels, Mm -hmm. and I've been outside those locker rooms, and I know the scene. When you were on the road, the promiscuity, was it as bad as I've heard through the years? Like, is every night a wild party for players? Here's here's what's funny. I used to hear this thing that women used to, would wait at the hotel for you. I was like, well, it didn't happen with us. Maybe it was the Lakers and the Bulls or <laughs> was it the Mavericks and the teams that I was with? No, it was crickets outside waiting for us to come in. But it's a difference between Hollywood and professional sports. Okay. Hollywood is a lot different. Why? It's it, the, the demographics in regards to the drugs that are involved, the parties, the late night, the underground kind of activities. It's totally different than what I've experienced in the NBA. So now you live now near Hollywood. Right. Have you been invited to those parties? Not yet. And I don't, and I hopefully I won't be because it's just a different, Colin, it, the environment in Hollywood and acting or w- whatever it is is just totally different. Now Christine lives in Hollywood and she actually does. I don't she live does right go. in Hollywood. I live very close to Have Hollywood. Have you been, Christine? No, to what? Par- Hollywood parties? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. But wait, what do you what do you have against the Hollywood? No, parties? no, 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 no. There are certain parties in Hollywood that you know what the deal is when you go. Abs- what do you mean by that? Well, you know, like you, tra- there's oh, going to be drugs involved. There's going to be. Can I tell you something? There is drugs everywhere. Yeah, but but it's a little. But Hollywood is. I'm, t- hey, listen, I'm trying to tell you, Hollywood is different. Listen, I live in the South Bay. Right. There's no drugs at yes, our parties. There are, oh, not, not at your parties, not, but there no, are drugs. It's South families Bay. and kids. And you right, go to yeah, any, it's different. Yeah. So I so I again it's interesting when you were in the NBA and I would see these things. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you had kind of legendary relationships with beautiful women. Did you feel ever targeted by it? Oh yeah. Well, it, it, when I was playing, especially a little bit later on, there were actually websites, blogs, or whatever it is, where women set up where they would have where women can go on and find exactly when you come in town, where you're staying. They would be at the clubs waiting. They would be, come to the hotel. It was all a setup game. It was a setup game to get guys caught up, one, either to um, exploit them for money. They would snap pictures of guys when they were asleep or doing things at a club. It was all a setup game. And, and again, if you didn't know, especially being a younger player at times, you would fall into that trap. And, and it's, a, it's a shame that that exploitation was there. But sometimes it was, you know, it's, it's bottom line, it was sometimes it was our fault, too. Because what we go looking for as professional athletes opens up the door to have things like that happen. Did I'm you know saying. any guys in the NBA that ruined their career chasing it? Yeah, I, I won't mention them, but it's been guys that couldn't let it go. Addicted to? Just going out and just the, the, the nightlife. And the and, women. And, but it's, it been, get... it's hard, Christine and, and Colin, it's hard for, for a young player, depending on your circumstances, where you come from. Got a lot of money. You got fame all of a sudden, especially with basketball, because people recognize you a lot more. When you walk into a place, unless you're a real short guy like Steve Nash, Steve Nash can kind of blend in. Right. But if you're tall, athletic looking, you go to some of these cities. I don't care what city. Utah, I don't care. And Portland, it doesn't matter. You stand out. Did you feel like women, did you ever get into a situation, not late in your career, but early, where you felt like, I am being scammed here? I am being schemed. I am a target tonight. Um, I felt like that if it could have went a lot further. Now, early in my career, I didn't see it as much. Now, I'm lucky, too. I didn't play during the time of the Internet, um, Facebook, you know, Instagram. I, I, I can't even imagine what it is like with, with guys now. Whatever you do, I don't care if you just go out and you have a nice little drink. Maybe it's cranberry juice. Maybe it's something else. Now it's a picture. It's a snap. Oh, you know, you're talking to a female. Now they're going to blog and then post it. So the freedoms I had coming into the league are about gone. 